State lawmakers are wrapping up day two of the special session. We just learned the House passed one of the two budget bills. Action 7 News reporter Brandon Evans breaks down what's happening at the Roundhouse. Governor and state lawmakers making no bones about it. Adjusting the budget is the one thing they have to get done. It's a framework for recovery at the end of the day. We're trying to get through this. Democratic House Rep Patricia Lundstrom says the state has to make up $400 million on the 2020 budget that ends June 30th and nearly $2 billion in the 2021 budget that starts July 1st. She says House Bill 1 appropriates the money they'll need and House Bill 2 explains where those dollars will come from. Because we've been very, very good at setting up revenues in savings funds and we've had a very strong reserve last fiscal year, um, over 25 percent. We've been able now to reallocate how those dollars are being used. But Republican House Rep Rod Montoya says these adjustments are just scratching the surface. I think they made a couple of positive changes, but nowhere near addressing the problem. He feels lawmakers will have to adjust the budget again in January during the regular session. Montoya also fears other important bills will not be heard this session, specifically two bipartisan bills he said would help businesses with unemployment insurance. Republican Democrat businesses all across the state have asked for this to be addressed. What's going to happen next year is that their unemployment insurance rates are going to go through the roof. As far as other bills, SB 5 passed the Senate. It looks at solvency or the state's ability to meet its long term debts. Also passing the Senate, SB 4 on election reform. It gives county clerks the options to directly mail ballots. HB 6 also passed the House. It waives late fees or interest on taxes like gross receipts taxes or personal income taxes for one year. Reporting, Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News. <laughs>